Hello there and welcome to my next video in uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. In this one we're going to be tackling the uh, Power and Magic's Chasm Rising Theta quest um, as opposed to the Delta one that we did uh, not too long ago. Um, and let me just say that oh boy the journey to actually get here was, uh, was quite something. Eight quests, no boosted ridiculous score requirements on some of them. Um, I didn't have too much of a problem because my compulsive pulling habits actually came in handy um, and I got to dust off a great many bench warmers as well so hopefully it was more fun than frustrating to some of you guys out there but I can imagine newer players are definitely going to be having some problems with uh, with this event. Um, but if, if, if that's you then you're probably not watching this video because you have to clear all the previous ones to unlock this one. Um, so that being said, um, this one was a bit of a, um, a bit more of a marathon style than a, than a bursty event. The, the Barry X was very bursty, but Heretics always seemed to take quite a bit longer. Um, and Lightning once again returns to centre stage in this one, alongside the good old power pair of Lilyset and Bart's. Man, that Bart's rework has just been putting in so much work for me recently. Um, and so is Lightning for that matter. Like, I was on the fence about pulling for Lightning. If I didn't pull for her, I'd probably be using Agrius, or um, maybe Thancred, or, or someone like that, some sort of recent physical damage dealer. Or even Tifa. I might even have pulled for Tifa, I'm not sure. Um, but Lightning is just... Uh, yeah, she's really been surprising me. I know she drops off very soon, um, but I think when she drops, even when she drops off, she's still not useless. Um, and the, uh, the the recent events have been very sort of biased towards physical um, attackers. Um, and for that matter, um, because of that, I think that the Kuja release uh, that is as of the time of recording this coming up in not tomorrow but the day after for me so literally in two days Kuja EX is going to drop and I am going all in on that banner not not to the, not to pity but I'm at least going to be showering it in tickets if it comes to that um, but I don't think he'll help as much here as, as maybe some people are hoping for because uh, looking at the enemies the the first wave is is vulnerable to lightning but s super resistant to magic um, so magic units ain't gonna do shit. Um, second wave, weak to magic. Third wave, weak to physicals. And the fourth wave actually has the ultimate weapon and the Malbra in it at the same time. So the, 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 the ultimate weapon is clearly from the Malady quest because it has low resistance to every debuff, which is interesting. Um, and then the Malbra again. Oh, okay, so the Malbra, yeah, is, is vulnerable to magic. So... Okay, yeah, that being the case, if you can work around the fact that the booster machines resist magic, then yeah, you could bring Kuja, but that means that you basically have to swap him out in wave 1, um, which is not ideal because you normally want your friend units to uh, to set up in summon. Um, so in my opinion, um, I think that physical units are overall better here, so Kistis would probably have a better time of it. Um, and in fact, I actually do intend to return to these heretics when Kuja and when Kistis releases and see if I can't... Uh, improve on the scores that I did last time, or even just play them for fun, you know. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's that, and, uh, and this is this. So, um, the only problem in an all-physical team, um, in my opinion, is this bloody Marlborough. Because, as you see, it's resistant to physical and ranged, so you absolutely need a magic dealer to deal with this one. Ah, but what's that you say? It has wind weakness, and it has magic weakness. Why, that can only mean one thing! It's time to bust out Lail again, uh, because obviously Pandemonium is uh, is what you want. Um, despite the fact that it's immune to force, we've already established that Pandemonium doesn't give a shit about force, and you can actually just spam energy gain and you'll be totally fine. So that is my method of choice for, uh, for taking care of this thing, because you absolutely want to take it out on the first turn that you can, because if not it's going to inflict you with bad breath and all manner of bullshit and you'll get blinded and it's just, it's just a run killer. You don't want that. Um, so I'm going to fight my friend list and go to my my good friend that is not actually my friend but is my friend Strategus um, because he has a pretty good Lail. Um, a lot of Lails I've seen have too much Crystal Bearer um, but this one has some nice Max Braves in there and a pretty nice double orange on the, on the last one. So we're going to be running with this team for now. Um, and yeah, not too much to say about this one. Let's just see. Uh, let's just see how we do. Okay, okay. So I definitely want to spark strike to get the attack buff up on the uh, lightning first turn. 
and then Bart's is kind of whatever. Doesn't really matter what he is. So lightning's gonna get broken here, but you know that's just a that's just a fact of life. That's just something that happens. Breaks are breaks do actually tank your score a bit. Like I think getting broken is kind of the same as launching almost. Um, so if you can help it, you really want to not get broken too much. But sometimes it's just more efficient to just take the break, depending on uh, what's actually uh, happening around that time. Um, okay, so we have here a um, <laughs> we have a, a Bart's with no brave and a Lilliset with no brave. Um, but we actually want to use uh, what's his face. Um, 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 uh, Flourish of Steel with Lightning, so I'm actually just gonna like brave attack here with Lilliset because I have kind of got to the point where I've almost run out of skills um, with Lilliset on the later waves, so I'm gonna be playing kind of slightly conservative, but not too much. Ugh. Oh my goodness! Lightning, calm down, what the hell? So here I am actually going to be attacking uh, A instead of B because even though B would give me um, more turns I did slap this with missile and even the regular version of missile has a defense debuff so because you know me and because I'm all about the numbers and because lightning needs all the help you can get to deal damage god damn it then I'm definitely going to be slapping this one around and look at that 8000 to hit that is fucking glorious yeah goodbye um, Unfortunately, we are going to have to throw away the free turn here. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I could use the Eineke, but I'm actually going to just do this, and we're going to go for double hand to raise Vast's Max Break because he needs to do it sometime. And again, attack of the magic pixel. God damn it. So, Lightning just used her EX. Um, so she gets a free skill use. So I could actually just go. I could use Flourish of Steel here. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a free Spark Strike because that will break it. Um, and it will refresh Lightning's attack uh, buff. Like, I, I do know that if, if I just get into the habit of spamming flourishes, then that attack buff can fall off if you're not careful. Um, so I just kind of want to keep that up on her. But unfortunately, it does mean that Lilliset's max brave buff is going to run out sooner. Um, but since... Oh, okay. So normally you kind of, I kind of open with... Um, uh, normally I open with Sensual Dance, uh, because Lilliset usually goes before Lightning, believe it or not. But I guess here it was not to be. Uh, never mind. I'm going to use uh, Yanga Key for uh, skill preservation. And we shouldn't leak too badly if we flourish here. And I am actually going to use another flourish of uh, steel. So this would be a perfect time to kind of whirling edge. Um, but I'm going to use Central Dance instead to refresh the Max Break Buff for Lightning and so that we don't get broken. Because uh, it is actually a good, a prime opportunity to not get broken, in fact. Plus, I kind of want to try and save Bats' missiles if I can um, for when we bring in Lail on the, the last wave, every little helps. And of course, <laughs> of course, all of Lightning's. Um, uh, bloody generic buffs got knocked off. So if I use Army of One here, it's not going to be doing quite as much damage as I would like. So I am just going to use Spark Strike to reapply the uh, attack buff and also to break the enemy.
I'll apply Max Brave up to uh, the next chance I get. So here I'll use my free flourish and I'll get a free turn and I'll get... My free turn will be delayed because of this bloody curse thing. Yeah, there we go. up, has three turns on it, EX is kind of, um, yeah my only problem here is if I have Spike Strike I'm going to Central Dance as well and then it's just, just going to be Leaking Brave like crazy, so I'm actually just going to go for another Flourish. And as you see, uh, Lily Set has absolutely, uh, Max Brave has just kind of vanished at this point. Um, so what I can do here is I can um, I still have two turns of attack up but what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to spark strike on this one and then I'm going to army of one on, uh, on B. So we do, we do lose the break on uh, on B or we would lose the break on B, but what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to HP attack here, and then I'm going to army of one on it when we get our turns back. That might be a better idea. Because Lilyset can't really do too much of anything. So how many turns of attack up do I have? You can't see the buff icon. I've got four turns of it. So I am going to uh, Flourish of Steel and then do um, like the regular army of one so I get the absolute most damage possible. So hopefully that should do me, uh, that should do me okay. So that's like 5.6k a hit. That's not too bad. Lilliset's Max Brave buff is still doing quite nicely. So if I use Welling Edge here, I'm not sure if I'll kill this thing. And Lightning has a free skill use, so it would be kind of a waste to use a skill here, if you, saw, if you know what I mean. So I am probably just going to uh, HP attack so that Lightning can use her Flourish of Steel important not to waste those free skill uses and free turns where we have them, you know? Okay, so I definitely want to central dance. No, I don't know if I... Uh, kind of running low on double hands here. So I only have one turn of attack up. So to be honest, I can totally just like break one of these things. And C is gonna attack Bats. That's totally fine. I'll leave that one up so I can get a break on it if necessary. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't break him. Let's see, B is gonna attack Lilliset. But that's also fine. Because we have sap. There we go. All according to plan. Um, so if I use missile, I can use missile on B to get the defense debuff. I will actually blow a missile here and the battery. And then lightning can use spark strike on C. and totally not get her EX charged in time to use it on B. <laughs> but that's fine, she'll probably get it by the next turn she gets. Yeah, see, there we go. 
So she gets it here for sure. Delicious 8,000 for her. Is this thing weak to... yeah, it's weak to physical. So I'll get all nines times two. Um, so yeah, this will be fine. I will get the threshold. And Lightning's going to have to waste a skill here, but that's fine. That's good. So, we've made it to the last wave in fairly good shape. Now, what we do here depends on the turn order a little bit. There is a little bit of RNG involved. But we basically want to nuke the Marlboro as fast as we humanly can. Um, okay. So, let's see here. The Marlboro is weak to magic and wind, of course it is, we said it was. And this thing doesn't have any resistances. So the Marlboro is actually resistant to, to Bart's, basically. So I'm going to try and get a defense debuff on... Uh, uh, on A here with the, uh, with the missile. And then Lightning should still have enough attack power to be able to break B. So if I, well if I spike strike here it's kind of a waste isn't it? I mean I will get the free turn but, I mean I'll do it. She still gets the break so she'll get a free turn whenever she comes back. But we uh, want to swap into Lail here and forget about force, we just want to go all in with the launchers. And it's perfect, because Lily has got the next turn. Except I've used more of my central dancers than I thought I had. But, never mind. I'm actually going to Whirling Edge here, even though Central Dance is more efficient, because B will still get murked by uh, by Lil, and I need to save a Central Dance for Lightning. And that should actually be enough to finish it, so I'm just going to Brave Attack. Yeah, there we go. I had a feeling that would be enough. And then we just go all in trying to delay this thing for as long as we possibly can. Um, it still has it has the speed down on it. Yeah, there we go. Everything we can that batteries, all the battery, all the turn delay. So lightning will come back in here. Um, And this would have been perfect for her, but not for the fact that she, um, you know what, let's see, this, in my opinion, this is still worth a flourish of steel, because her EX is nearly charged, and her next turn comes up very soon. Oh, except that was her free turn, but never mind. Never mind. What debuffs does it have on? It still has death down. But we're still going to use missile because we're close to the end. We just need to pile on as much damage as we can. God damn, this is a tanky thing after its, um, after its bloody uh, buffs get uh, applied. Yeah, her attack buff is, uh, is there. Oh, 
Oh, that's perfect. Free turn. Uh, that does not get procced, <laughs> but we kill it anyway. Okay, let's see how this is going to turn out score wise. God damn those uh, damage resistance. Two hundred and thirty-nine k, better than my previous record, which I totally didn't even see what that was. Okay, so that'll be it for the for this heretic. Um, I will probably come to revisit when uh, Kuja and Kistis are released and see if we can sort of pull off some more shenanigans. Then I probably won't upload a video for it though. Um, I'll just have some uh, some fun experimenting with them. Anyway, um, that will be all for uh, for now, and I will see you probably in the Kuja Lost chapter. Now I'm currently undecided whether or not I'm going to make a video for my uh, for my pulls for Kuja, or whether I can actually sort of contain my excitement for long enough to be actually able to do that, or whether I'm just going to make a regular video with the um, for, for for the actual Lost chapter itself. I don't think it'll be very challenging. It'll be more of a Kuja showcase than anything. Um, presuming I, I get lucky with my tickets, I'm really hoping I do. So uh, hopefully I don't get gatchered. But anyway, that'll be all from uh, from me for now, and I will see you guys later. Cheers.